tonight the text through which God wants to speak to us this evening. You'll find this text exposes, first of all, a great problem. A great problem for people. Mind you, it's a common problem. It's a common problem tonight as far as the gospel is concerned. And not only does this text tonight expose a great problem as far as the gospel is concerned, it exposes a great problem as far as the salvation of your soul is concerned. It's a great problem that sinners face this evening. I wonder tonight, are you facing this great problem? And maybe this is the problem tonight you're trying to deal with. But this text tonight not only deals with a great problem, this very same text tonight deals with a great promise, a great promise as far as the gospel's concerned tonight. And it's a great promise as far as salvation is concerned. And it's a great promise tonight as far as sinners tonight is concerned. If you believe the promise, that is. And this text tonight, first of all, exposes a great problem. And the same text also exposes tonight a great promise. Now, where is this text found tonight that exposes a great problem for us? Where is this text found that exposes a great promise? I'll tell you where you'll find it tonight. You'll find it in the Old Testament book of Proverbs. And come with me, please, to the book of Proverbs, and we're in chapter 29. And first of all, this text is going to bring before you a great problem. And it's a common problem. And maybe this evening, this is your problem. And then it's going to proclaim a great promise. Proverbs 29, and come with me please down to verse 25, and this is what it says. It says, the fear of man bringeth a snare. But whoso putteth his trust in the Lord shall be safe. Now, first of all, there's the great problem, the fear of man. bringeth a snare. And then there's the great promise. But whoso putteth his trust in the Lord shall be safe. And we know tonight that the Lord will add his blessing to that text this evening for his own name's sake. In that one text tonight alone, just that one verse, there are two great powers this evening. And each of those great powers tonight carries with them a great influence. Many people tonight have been influenced by each of these powers. And I wonder which power tonight is going to influence you tonight in this gospel meeting. Because one great power in this verse tonight 
influences people for the bad. And while the other power, it influences people for the good. You see this text tonight in Proverbs chapter 29 and verse 25. Your eternal destiny hinges on this text tonight. Because on this text tonight, you're going to be influenced one way or the other, and I hope tonight it's the other. You see, people's easy influence tonight. And you know the funny thing is, well, it's not really funny, but the truthful thing is this. It's so easy to be influenced to go the wrong way. Now, why is it so easy to be influenced to go the wrong way for? Because that's the power of the flesh. And the devil tonight will do all that he can to influence you the wrong way. Or tonight, you could be influenced the right way. You see, this verse this evening holds before us a proverb. A proverb this evening is a saying that states a general truth. Here's the proverb tonight. The fear of man bringeth a snare. You know what a snare is this evening? A snare is a trap tonight that is so easily to get caught in but it's impossible to get out of. I remember in my young days growing up, my cousin used to snare rabbits out at Granny's farm. But I loved animals. And I used to follow him and see if there was any rabbits caught, and I used to let them go again. Because, you see, a rabbit can't get itself out of a snare, and the more it kicks in the snare, the tighter the snare becomes. And God wants to speak to us first of all tonight on this proverb that exposes a great problem tonight. The fear of man. bringeth a snare. The fear of man bringeth a snare. Do you know what the fear of man does tonight? And do you know what the fear of, of, of man has done down through the generations? The fear of man has stopped people from getting saved. The fear of man has stopped more people from coming to Christ. I'll tell you something else tonight. The fear of man has stopped more people from getting to heaven. The fear of man. Now, how does the fear of man stop people? Well, I'll tell you how it stops people. You're sitting in a gospel meeting. And God begins to speak to you. And you begin to get troubled. And you begin to get convicted of your sin. And you suddenly realize that Christ did die on the cross for me. And Christ did die for my sin. What happens? You begin to make the first move. Then suddenly the devil comes. And this wee voice bends your ear and says, Now if you get saved, what's your father going to say? What's your mother going to say? What's your husband going to say? What's your wife going to say? What's your workmates going to say? 
The fear of man bringeth a snare, friends. Do you know who the devil snares in this trap tonight? Do you know who the devil traps in this snare? People who know that they need to be saved. People who know that they need to come to Christ. People who believe the gospel. That's who the devil traps in this snare tonight. I wonder you trapped in this snare. You know tonight fine rightly you're a sinner. You know tonight fine rightly you're not prepared to meet God. You know fine well tonight that Christ did die for you and that you must take Christ as your Savior. And you know fine rightly but the fear of man tonight has snared you. Wonders that your problem tonight? Because I'll tell you something now, the moment you entertain that thought tonight about what others think and about what others are going to say, I'm telling you, you're well caught in the trap tonight if you entertain those thoughts. You see, the fear of man tonight bringeth a snare. More people have been stopped. More people have, pre be, have been prevented in coming to Christ tonight, not because of some drinking habit, but because of the fear of man. Is that what's keeping you back tonight? The fear of man. You read the book of the Revelation tonight. And the book of the Revelation tonight, what does it say there? It's Revelation 21, I think. And it says the top list of people that will not get into heaven are the fearful. It doesn't put murderers at the top. It puts the fearful at the top. Now, why does God put the fearful at the top? Because the fearful are the most people tonight that refuse to get saved. I'll tell you, there's plenty of murderers got saved in the maze prison in their day. But that's the fearful tonight. Who are the fearful? The fearful who's caught in the snare tonight of the devil, the fear of man. Henry Latimer was preaching the gospel one day in the presence of King Henry VIII. And as he preached that day, a wee voice whispered into his ear and says, Latimer, Latimer, you're preaching in front of King Henry VIII. Be careful what you say. And Latimer said for a moment, I choked. At the very thought of it. And as he continued to preach, he heard another voice. Ah, but this voice says, Latimer, Latimer, the King of Kings is here. Be you careful what you don't say. Listen, dear friend, tonight. The prophet of Isaiah says in Isaiah 51, verse 12, Who art thou that thou shouldest be afraid of a man that shall die? What did Jesus say in Matthew 10, 28? He says, Fear not them which can kill the body, but fear him which can destroy both body and soul in hell. The fear of man bringeth a snare. Now listen, friends, tonight, that's a proverb that presents a great problem tonight. I wonder, is that prevent, preventing you tonight from getting saved? the fear of man. Is that what's stopping you, love? The fear of man bringeth a snare, a proverb that carries a great problem. But this text tonight, thank God, doesn't only carry a proverb with a great problem. It carries a promise with a great prospect. But whoso putteth his trust in the Lord shall be safe tonight. Whoso putteth his trust in the Lord shall be safe tonight.
you realize tonight, dear unsaved friend, that the Lord went to Calvary's cross to save you? Your sin tonight that now condemns you was bore on his body on the tree. That sin tonight, your sin that condemns you before the Almighty, that his blood can cleanse you from that sin. Your sin tonight, yes, your sin, man, your sin, woman, that's dragging you to hell and away from God. Christ died for that sin. And Christ died for you. And whoso putteth his trust in the Lord shall be safe, you know. And you know, dear friend, tonight, you're a perishing sinner. There's no such thing as a perishing Protestant or a perishing Catholic, for there's no such thing. Perishing sinners, God's Word teaches us. But you need to know tonight that God so loved you that He sent His Son, the Lord Jesus, to Calvary's cross, where they kneeled Him by the hands and by the feet, and was lifted up to die. And he said, it is finished, Moses cried. Because you see, no religion can save you, dear. No creed or church can do anything for you. Now listen to my text tonight. But whoso putteth or maketh or putteth his trust in the Lord, in the Lord shall be safe, you know. You'll be safe. You'll be safe when your time to die comes, dear. You'll be safe when death does come. And you'll be safe as far as the judgment of God is concerned. And you'll be safe as far as eternity is concerned. Oh, friend, what a great promise with a great prospect tonight. Whoso putteth his trust in the Lord shall be safe this evening. You'll be safe when death comes. Because the Lord Jesus says, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. You'll be safe tonight when it comes to your dying. And whoso putteth his trust in the Lord shall be safe when it comes to death. And whoso putteth his trust in the Lord shall be safe when it comes to the great eternity, dear. The fear of man bringeth a snare. That's the proverb that presents a great problem tonight. The fear of man. But whoso putteth his trust in the Lord shall be safe. And that's the promise with a great prospect this evening. Gypsy Smith preached in Yorkshire on one occasion. And he preached from the text, Psalm 40 and 4. Blessed is that man that maketh the Lord his trust. A young lady was there that night. She came from a godless home. She lived with her parents and five godless brothers. 
And when Gypsy Smith preached the gospel that night, God spoke to her. And she got wonderfully and gloriously saved. And she went home this evening, and she went home and told her family what had happened, and they scorned her, and they mocked her, and they treated her with, with all the ills that they could muster. Six months after her conversion, her mother died, and she had to take the role of mother. And a year later, she took TB, and she was isolated in a little bedroom, and the brothers just come up, and they just put her food outside the door. Couldn't go in. And one day, when they left the food at the door, these two brothers, they could hear her say these words, I'm safe in this very sickness. I'm safe as I face death. And then she sung these words, and these were the last words they heard. Ever since by faith I saw the stream, thy flowing wounds supply. Redeeming love has been my theme and shall be till I die. And those were the last words, but those words that she sang faintly and weakly brought two of the brothers that were listening under conviction and they got converted. And one by one, the whole lot of them got converted. They could see that their sister who put her trust in the Lord was safe, was safe in Him. And you know, friend, tonight, are you in a snare this evening? Maybe it's the fear of your mother. Maybe it's the fear of your father. The fear of some work colleague. A hundred years from now, when you're in the fires of hell, I'll tell you, friend, who you feared or what you feared won't matter then. Can I say to you this evening, will you come to Christ who died for you? For this is the promise tonight. It's God's promise. Whoso putteth his trust in the Lord shall be made safe. You put your trust in him this evening. You shall be safe tonight. Safe when it comes your time to die. And safe when it comes to that moment you'll stand before God and stand before God you will. You'll be safe. For the Lord will make you safe and you'll be safe for eternity. Now, let's bow in prayer and seek His face. Now, listen, friends, tonight, if God has been speaking to your heart tonight, will you come and see us this evening? You've been caught in this old snare long enough. Let the Lord Jesus set you free tonight, for whosoever the Son sets free is free indeed. And you come and trust the Lord tonight and make Him yours, and you'll be safe tonight. You'll be as sure as heaven tonight if you're already in it. But you have to trust Him. Make Him yours. Lord, tonight, for these words that Thou hast spoken and for this message that Thou hast given me to declare, I pray, Lord, tonight, I leave the entire eternal issues of this meeting into Thy care and keeping. And I pray, Lord, that as I finish, Lord, Thou would strive on and speak on, and Lord, be saved tonight and give deciding grace before some soul slips out into a lost sinner's hell, 
may they be swept into thy kingdom and family and fold tonight. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen.